Hey, this is Jamie from Green River Ordnance. You're listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Hello, everyone. Thank you for listening to Conroe Culture News. I am Margie Taylor, your host at Lone Star Community Radio in downtown Conroe. FM 104.5, 106.1, Facebook Live, Conroe Culture News. And it's also on the Conroe, City of Conroe Cable TV. You will be able to see it on the website, cityofconroe.org. So today... The, my guests are going to talk about the Woodlands Chamber Chairman's Ball, a night in Napa. And then later on, we're going to hear from how to take care of our senior loved ones, find assistant living anywhere in the country with Brent and Pauline Vesey of Assistant Living Locators of Greater Northeast Houston. So a couple of things. Uh, this show is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic and Team Sinisi Real Estate Group. Roger Stein Chiropractic has been voted the best chiropractic center in Montgomery County for four consecutive years. They are located at 3033 West Davis by Conroe High School and Taco Bell. Any new patients, the whole $25, yes, it's only $25 to see the doctor, all goes to CASA to help kids in CPS. So they work with anybody 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 that has a back from infants to seniors athletes to professionals their focus is on natural holistic approach to not only relieving pain but achieving optimal health so go see dr stacy rogers and the rest of her doctors at roger stein chiropractic team sinisi real estate group serves the greater montgomery county as the best source for buying selling or investing in real estate and you know interest rates are really low but they're not going to stay there forever i mean not that i know for sure but i mean really it's probably not so buying selling or investing call team sinisi 281-507-9777 so uh, a few things that are going on around town well, being that this is mid-July, it's going to be back to school time. If you haven't been to Hobby Lobby, you might even see Halloween and Christmas. Well, before that is back to school. So keep that in mind. We will have those tax freeze days in August when it's super crowded. But you can shop now and get some of that out of the way by going to downtown Conroe or think about the Assistance League that gives back, is very philanthropic, gives back to our vulnerable populations and they help kids they help get kids dressed for school they help seniors they help veterans so shop there or uh, donate always patsy klein is going to be on july 23rd that is put on by, at the owen theater by the players theater company and this is their big fundraiser and why is this important well you recall a little thing called the pandemic when a lot of places were closed well they were never really closed but they were only at 50 percent capacity so even when they sold tickets for shows they didn't make any money because they still have to buy production materials set do all that and none of the people the actors actresses get paid this is a volunteer thing so the, always Patsy Klein will start on uh, the weekend of the July 23rd a Friday night and go through Sunday the 25th the tickets are $50 and help to defray all the costs for all their productions so this is going to be a fabulous show uh, we had it's a two person two actresses are on there and we had the one who portrays Patsy Patsy Klein was on our show last week, and oh my gosh, is, is she such a great singer? Uh, amazing. So go and see that. The tickets are available at owentheater.com. Also, this will be the last week for Tarzan, and that's amazing as well. And that is going to be at the Crichton Theater with Stage Right of Texas. If you haven't been to the Crichton Theater, I, I don't know what you're missing. But that is a very old theater made in uh, like around 1920s. So you can go to Threat crichtontheater.org and get tickets for Tarzan. They have a lot of amazing shows and both the Crichton Theater and the Owen Theater are just steps apart from each other. And those are also being run 
by volunteers. Volunteers do this. So help them out. Help our live theater performances. So did you also know that the city of Conroe has a Conroe Senior Center? I bet a lot of people didn't know that. Actually, Meals on Wheels used to be in that building, and it's over at Candy Cane Park. So they do a lot of things for seniors, bingo, lunches, special events, and one of the events, and we're going to have one of the sponsors of their upcoming event that's the third Wednesday of the month from 11 to 1230 is a senior luncheon. So the one coming up July 21st is going to be uh, the speaker's from Curves, and she's going to talk about strength training and balance, and it's sponsored by Assistant Living Locators. So that's another opportunity, and you can go to the City of Conroe website, cityconroe.org, and find out all about the senior activities under Parks and Recreation. They are also hosting a mother-son date night on Friday, July 23rd, from 7 to 9.30 at the Conroe Water Park which has only been open since August last year. It's brand new. And you can see it from the feeder road on I-45. It's a, it's a fun place. So the mother-son date night is for ages 4 to 12 years of age. And they will swim. They will see a uh, movie while they're flicking and floating and with their noodles. Prizes. There's going to be a photo booth. So you have to uh, let them know. Call them at 936-522-3900. And it's $20 for a mother's son team and $10 for each additional son. So if you have three kids, they can all go. Uh, and what a fun time that will be. The last thing I want to mention is the University of St. Thomas downtown. And uh, they are right by the courthouse at 335 North Main. And they offer a lot of programs. They have a creative writing class. They have leisure learning. They have lunch and learns. And their next big thing is on July 29th which is avoiding common mistakes when financing your small business. Well, that could be informative for a lot of businesses, you know, especially as we're changing things up. I don't want to use that other P word, <laughs> but we're changing things up from how we've done things. And a lot of people are putting their business online to make it more accessible. So that might be something you want to find out again. You can go to the University of St. Thomas Downtown Center, USTMAX, and find out more about that. So bring a friend, make a day of lunching, browsing, antique stores, boutiques, and all of that in downtown Conroe. You are listening to Conroe Culture News, and I am your host, Margie Taylor. And we are going to uh, get right back with our guests that are sitting with me here today from the Woodlands Chamber. I have J.J. Holly at the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce and Jennifer Moore with more of everything and also events with the Woodlands Chamber in just a moment. Team Sinisi is a proud sponsor of Conroe Culture News. Vinny Sinisi and his professional team provide comprehensive real estate services throughout the greater Montgomery County area and beyond. Whether looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, Team Sinisi has an impeccable reputation. Contact Team Sinisi for a great experience at teamsinisi.com. That's T-E-A-M-S-I-N-I-S-I.com. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. Second Saturday Divorce Workshop provides unbiased information to help you understand your options and move forward with your life. This divorce workshop is for you if you are contemplating divorce, in the process of divorce, already filed for divorce, or post-divorce. You will explore the emotional, legal, and financial aspects of divorce from professionals who have guided others through divorce. For more information on this divorce workshop, contact SecondSaturdayWoodlands.com or call 832-375-0900.
Hello, my guests today on Conroe Culture News are going to be J.J. Hawley, the president of the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce, and Jennifer Moore, more of everything. She also does the events at the Woodlands Area Chamber of Commerce, and we are talking about the Chairman's Ball. So I understand, J.J., this is the 43rd annual Chairman's Ball. Yes, it is. Uh, We're about 44 years old, so we started this uh, very quickly after we began the organization, and it's just a great way for us to wrap up the year, celebrate uh, making it through different crises through the year, like the one we won't talk about, because we're all uh, sick and tired of that. So that one would have been the 43rd. Correct. But that one doesn't count. And we so had to, yeah, we had to cancel <laughs> last year. Uh, Jeff Garrett was our chairman of the board. Uh, he's from CP Kim. He's their lead attorney over there. And unfortunately, we could not have a chairman's ball to celebrate him. So we're celebrating both him and Linda Nelson, who's with Marketing Memorial Herman. So we're going to celebrate both of them on that night. That's right. It's a double party. Yep. Okay, more fun for everyone. Yes. And you are sitting here with Jennifer Moore, who's helping to coordinate all the details Mm -hmm. of this wonderful chairman's ball that will be unique. It will be something different. Tell me about why it's different. So this year will be different, as JJ said. Uh, Regretfully, we did not get to give Jeff his uh, rightfully deserved chairman's ball last year. Um, And we are fortunate enough to have him visit with us this year. So he will be getting a special segment of the ceremony this year, as well as honoring, honoring Linda, as she is our outgoing and our new incoming chair. And it's a night in Napa. It is. It's a night in Napa. Uh, We'll be doing things a little bit differently this year. We're going for very elegant black and white formal attire. Um, We will have wine tastings. Wine tastings start at 630. Um, We will have six different areas for you to go around and chase the different uh, vineyards from around Napa Valley and California. So that will be very special. We also have a live band this year, which is very exciting. Danny Ray and the Acoustics, he is amazing, and we're we're excited to get them interacting with the crowd and have everybody dance the night away after all the wine tastings and celebrations commence. So it's a very upscale, elegant party, basically. But what's also different, JJ, haven't we always had tabletop decorations? We usually do that. It's one of the things that makes us uh, pretty unique. But uh, just in keeping with uh, our, our theme is really something that the chairman picks every year. And so they have a lot of leeway to choose something that reflects kind of who they are, their history, and, and kind of their makeup. So this is a neat way to celebrate Linda. Uh, we will also honor Jeff uh, with his uh, special themed uh, table, which uh, Jen can add into that. But it's, <laughs> it's going to be a great night, and it is formal, black and white. I've got to figure out a, some way to get a white uh, tuxedo jacket. Uh, yes. And it scares me. So does that me. mean checked black and white? or what is <laughs> <it>? <laughs> No. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. I do or houndstooth is going to work. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about is having a white uh, jacket. Jacket, a bunch of around red a bunch wine. of red wine. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure that'll work. But Only white wine for you. Another th- yes, another <laughs> good thing is that uh, this will be mm-hmm. the first event, kind of of the quote unquote season uh, after COVID. This will be the first big gala mm-hmm. that uh, the Marriott will will offer. Yes. So it's going to be very nice. Yes, they've done a couple of parties here and there. They've actually started back up with prom season, but this is, uh, we're going back to rounds of 10, which will be nice. Um, we will be celebrating with 500 of our closest friends and family and coworkers to celebrate JJ, as he said, the accomplishments of the Woodlands Chamber, our community, and our chairman over the past year. So uh, tell me some of the sponsors. Do you know who is uh, involved in sponsoring? We do. We have some really great sponsors this year. Our main sponsor, of course, is going to be Sam Houston State University, University, followed by uh, CP Chem uh, with Jeff Garrett from our chairman from last year. We've got Consolidated Communications in there, Memorial Hermans, The Woodlands, Methodist Hospital. We've got Piney Rose doing all of the floral. We've got some amazing uh, partners for printing. We've got um, quite a few Napa Valley sponsorships, which are still plenty plenty available if you would like to do that that is going to be your table of 10 with sponsorship recognition so if you would like to hear about that or any other opportunities which there are still some available please contact me how do they contact you just call out and i'll answer (laughs) no uh jennifer.moore at woodlandschamber.org um or feel free to call the the chamber itself and they will be able to put you in touch with me Okay. And, and one note on that, uh, we were uh, extremely fortunate to have sponsors that were so generous as to let 
us uh, uh, carry over their funds from last year's cancel event mm-hmm. to this year's. And you know, anything we worth uh, we do that's worth doing is is not done alone. And and that's what's amazing is we have so many great members and sponsors and board members and people that are involved and volunteer at the chamber that really make us who we are. So it's it's a great way for us all to come together and just celebrate that. Yep. Well, I think it's very exciting, Um, a formal affair, because in the past it's always been some kind of a theme, whether it's circus or Star Wars or Hollywood or... James Bond. James Bond, yeah. which is kind of or fun. Island theme. It or is always fun. We, um, we, you know, because it's such a celebr- uh, special year and we're celebrating essentially three different folks and Linda loves wine and really wanted mm-hmm. to do a night in Napa, we decided to just kind of make the entire thing uh, formal, elegance, really enjoy yourselves. Um, absolutely love the tabletop decorators and themed events, but we wanted but to... this is different. This is going to mm-hmm. be a little bit different. So we wanted to make sure that we kept as such. So in lieu of the tabletop decorators, back to your original question mm-hmm. we have piney rose um, sponsoring all of the florals so we thank them for that so it'll be beautiful it will be very the lights beautiful. are going to be yeah. glittering lights and it's going to be things. candles and twinkling lights and vineyards and rolling hills and black and white and live band and it's going to be a photo party to opportunities remember. a few different photo opportunities yes we'll have some live paintings going on not to mention if we haven't already the wine tasting the wine tasting. So tell me a little bit about the wine tasting. Um, so upon entry into the uh, to the ballroom, you will see on either side, we have uh, six different wine tastings set up for you to go venture to. So you will go up, get a sample. We will have some very talented uh, sommeliers giving um, kind of a crash course in the wine that they're offering so they'll go through all of the tasting notes where it comes from what's happening over in california with all of the vineyards now and they'll do that at each different station and everything will be dressed to fit the occasion so it'll be a lot of fun it will be a lot of fun Mm -hmm. yes we hope to see everybody there and of course the meal will be very elegant as well yes yes Um, we have some past charcuterie to start the evening and then we're going to have a nice spring salad we're going to have some beef short ribs and some chicken breast followed by an awesome nothing messy right no no absolutely (laughs) not absolutely not Ladies, Very watch nice. those white dresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's define the attire a little bit. Black and white. So does that mean people can wear black or white, or what is preferred? What is preferred would be to for guests to wear black or white or a combination of the both, but we would really prefer to... Elegantly. Elegantly, absolutely. Not like a club. I have... <laughs> no, not like a club. I have had um, some gals ask if cocktail length is appropriate, and absolutely, as long as the preferred color is black or white or a combination of the both and our chairman will be joining us in her very own color so we'll see we (laughs) we will see we will see about that (laughs) so uh i know that there's links to go on there but you can just go to the woodlands the woodlands chamber dot org ball dot org okay so you can go directly woodlands chairman's ball dot org okay i didn't know that so I was going other directions. And you can also find information on the Facebook page. There's an, a Facebook event page, yes, on the Chamber website itself, on the Chamber Facebook page. Um, there is an event specifically for Chairman's Ball if you search that under Facebook, as well as if you reach out to the regular Chamber website. My information will be on there, as well as the event page to the Chairman's Ball. Is this fun for you to do? It's a lot of fun for me to do. I'm very, it's fun very for us excited. for her to do it. <laughs> right? It's always fun for we're, somebody else to do it. We're very fortunate about that. I can't wait to, to Thank celebrate goodness, with everybody. Uh, <laughs> Jen is very detail oriented, and uh, yeah, you deserve as much a celebration as anybody else in, in this. So, and thank you because she does an excellent job, and and uh, we've got an excellent team of people that that help out as well. So, and you might want to go through them to, so we can recognize those guys yeah absolutely so we have a we have of course our wonderful committee that we have had meeting once a month every month um since wow april probably for this event we've got some amazing members at the chamber itself um who have helped put on this event um yeah. I know yeah. I've been involved in it for years. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Years. And it's a lot and of the same faces which is, oh, yeah. But there's yeah. some new ones this year I've noticed. Mm-hmm. I I think um you know, to give kudos to Linda and also to be part of this because it is a different event this time. It isn't with all the costumes. It's just a step right. up. 
And a big kudos to Linda as well for being very involved. Um, I love she is out at every single event I've ever gone to, um, as well as having a huge role, playing a huge role um, as much as we want to allow her to know for this event um, and making sure that uh, she's on top of things. She's helping where needed. She's always available whenever you have any questions for her. So big kudos to that. And we do have a lot of um, new folks on the chairman's ball team, as well as lots of senior folks who've been around for years. And, and that's the thing about uh really any and all of our chamber events is they are run by the members and we're a member driven organization it's not uh you know a staff member making those calls it's people that are involved and because we want our members to it's their event so mm -hmm. we want them to have involvement and everybody if you're a member of the chamber you can come to this meeting and all of our meetings are uh, uh you know online so you can see uh, where and when and how to get involved mm -hmm. well i think it's important don't you jj that if you're a member you need to get involved in some regard mm -hmm. You know, yes. remember, you know, if you're um, part of one of the hospitals, then maybe you do it at a different level. But if you're a smaller business, there's always opportunities for you to volunteer your time in mm -hmm. something that makes sense to you. Yep. So, like, I'm in public relations, so I like to do events and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But somebody that um, you have the nonprofit organizations the mm -hmm. care committee yep. mm -hmm. which i don't know what the acronym stands for but it's all the nonprofits that go out and help other nonprofits. Non mm -hmm. yep. you know so one opportunity was to help build a home mm -hmm. with habitat for humanity and i know you've done lots of other that things mm -hmm. so if you <laughs> haven't gotten your hands dirty let's say mm -hmm. and you're part of a business that's not a nonprofit, this is a good way to get to know those mm -hmm. and learn how to give back to the community there's so, so that's many just one example yeah. There's so many so different So many things. committees available throughout the chamber. Transportation, what's going on in right. business, and mm -hmm. I know that you do other things to help get out the information, whether it's mm -hmm. a podcast with Woodlands Online, what's happening mm -hmm. in our area, mm -hmm. economically with the commissioners and different things like that, the township, so mm -hmm. forth. So if you do business in the Woodlands at all, you should be a member of the chamber. Or That's want right. to do business. Definitely. Yes. Either way. And, uh, you know, for an annual fee, you can get all the different marketing opportunities mm -hmm. that are available to everyone. It's just about using it, utilizing your benefits. Absolutely. You and get in what you put out of it. And they, they host so many different incredible events and opportunities for you to become a part of the community and help build your relationships. And your business won't grow without building those relationships. So, And now's and a I, good time to do that. Yeah, and, I, and I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. it is about relationships. Everything uh, we, is. I, I hate using the term networking because it sounds it's so transactional. It's relationship building, yes. You know, the worst thing you can do is, is join the chamber that morning and go that night to like a business after hours and pass out a hundred business cards mm -hmm. and, uh, and and it's it's just too uh, it's just too transparent I mean it's just too transactional it's too much kind of a one-off deal nobody will mm -hmm. save it no and if you mm -hmm. get involved and then people get to know you just about everybody I do business with I've met through the chamber before right. I started working at the chamber mm -hmm. I met him at the chamber mm -hmm. and uh, my financial advisor my insurance guy uh, my landscaper mm -hmm. all those people I've met through because I can see them and I know them and have a relationship relationship and I'd rather do business with somebody that I know Absolutely. than just a business than a card. business card. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, I, I went through and weeded out a whole bunch that I'm like, I don't know any of these people, so I'm throwing mm -hmm. them all out. I did that mm -hmm. yesterday, as a matter of fact. So it's all about relationships and going back to the chairman's mm -hmm. ball. You're not handing out business cards. I mean, I wouldn't leave them at home. I'd always no. take a few. That's <laughs> just me. Have them on you. I always have them on me. My yes. husband knows that. But, you know, you're meeting people in a comfortable, fun situation. It takes the it pressure It is a good off. time. Absolutely. And so you just engage about what are they drinking? right now yeah. or mm -hmm. the music or whatever and it starts a conversation yeah. going that you'll remember when you see him again remember when we were at the chairman's ball Absolutely. and I mean there will be some elected officials there maybe you want to go talk to them in, up close and personal mm -hmm. in a fun atmosphere things right. like that so going back to that um, there are sponsorships still available there is yes, right so mm -hmm. you do you still have the wine cellar sponsor available we do. So we have sponsorships levels available still left ranging from 750 all the way up to 3000 um, So plenty of the $750 level, which is the wine cellar sponsor, is going to be two tickets and sponsorship recognition. The cutoff date for that is going to be July 21st, which I believe is already next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, so we're coming up on about five and a half, six weeks out from the event. And... Um, 
like I said, those sponsorships are still available. So if you have any questions or is there something you wanted to speak about as far as a sponsorship level goes, please feel free to reach out to me and we can That'd make that happen. That'd be the happen. best way to Absolutely. make it happen. And even mm-hmm. if something's not on here and it's, it's something you always want up for to discussion. be a part of, yes. you know, let, let's talk about it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, my contact information is jennifer.moore at woodlandschamber.org. And this is August 21st, mm-hmm. a night in Napa. At you know, the Waterway just, Marriott. Looking mm-hmm. at the logo, it just looks like it's going to be a fun evening, something that you haven't experienced before. And there's generally 600 people that mm-hmm. attend this mm-hmm. small party, right? Yes. <laughs> Very small party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the room is large. Yes. And now that we're back to tables of 10, which is great, because mm-hmm. I know I went to something back in the spring Mm -hmm. that I had a table but it was half and half of a table so it's Mm -hmm. not great for conversation so this way you can you know and if you buy a table you can sit with all the people you want to be at your table right yes and to that randomly being sat with somebody you are welcome if you would like to gather some friends and collaborate as a table of 10 that can always be arranged as well instead of buying individual tickets again just and then it's cheaper (laughs) 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 all of this is up for discussion we would love to have you join us so any questions concerns um please feel free to reach out at any time i'm always available that's that's great so again this is the chairman's ball for the 43rd chairman's ball wow that's a big number that is um a night in napa it's a black and white affair and uh, you can find out more about it by going to woodlandschamber.org or woodlandschairmansball.org woodlandschairmansball.org you can go to facebook they're on instagram they're on linkedin search chairman's ball 2021 and we're the first and you one will who just pops up find mm-hmm. it yeah. all over the place but yeah. the best thing is just to reach out to jennifer so yes. find that's what, that's jennifer what I do. just just find jennifer <laughs> and ask her anything you want to ask her do a meetup take her to lunch i mean i don't know any <laughs> of those things work or you could do that with jj but yeah. he may not know <laughs> the we'll answer include him in so on the talk, anyway. talk to jennifer before you I do I would anything. recommend going to Jen first. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. So thank you very much for coming on the show today. And we look forward to sharing this YouTube video uh, next week. Okay. Thank you for you. having us. All right. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Team Sinisi is a proud sponsor of Conroe Culture News. Vinny Sinisi and his professional team provide comprehensive real estate services throughout the greater Montgomery County area and beyond. Whether looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, Team Sinisi has an impeccable reputation. Contact Team Sinisi for a great experience at teamsinisi.com. That's T-E-A-M-S-I-N-I-S-I.com. From the beginning, the main purpose of the Cooperative Extension Service has been to change human behavior by teaching people how to apply the results of scientific research. By utilizing a holistic, multi-level approach, Extension Family and Community Health Programs encourage health and well-being for everyone. Addressing values, concerns, and needs with reliable science-based information, Extension Programs help people lead healthier lives. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make their lives better. everyone. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News. And today I am visiting with Assistant Living Locators of Greater Northeast Houston, Brent and Pauline Veazey. 
and they are excited about their new business and helping your loved ones find where they need to be. So they are going to tell us all about that. And this is sponsored by Team Sinisi and Roger Stein Chiropractic. We are also on FM 104.5, 106.1, Lone Star Community Radio in downtown Conroe. So thanks for coming on today, guys. Uh, tell me a little bit about your business and how you got into this business. Well, thank you for having us today, Margie. Um, we've always had a special place in our hearts for seniors. Um, I've had experience with seniors at the YMCA for over 15 years. Um, my husband, Brent, was in the Medicare world and insurance, and um, he spent plenty of time there and also with the YMCA. So we've always had a special place in our heart uh, for people over 65. And when the pandemic hit, and I lost my position at the YMCA last March. I was kind of exploring the world to find out what would be the next professional adventure I would be going on. And when I found this opportunity with assisted living locators from a franchise perspective, it seemed like it was a very intriguing opportunity because not only do we have this previous experience that we've lived through our professional lives, but we've lived this journey personally as well. We both have older parents and we were both involved with my grandparents' care over a decade ago. And that journey with my grandparents was extremely difficult. We ended up having to move them three times, uh. and we had family fights, yelling, oh, shouting okay. matches. I can relate. <laughs> and so <laughs> it was not a very good, positive experience at all for all of us. And it was something that left a very lasting impression with me and Pauline both. And so when this opportunity came, it was viewed not only as a way to actually start a new business and control our own lives better, but it was an opportunity to actually help people avoid the experience that we had, which was extremely negative and has lasting impacts even to this day with some people in our family. So that's why we kind of got into this and everything we do is free. It's free of charge for caregivers the person the family so we get our payments from you know the resources that may eventually get referred to and uh, but that's how we work yeah and it works really well i know that i have reached out to y'all and i've noticed your uh, posts on linkedin and they are very compassionately done and have a lot of great information and resources as well so the interesting thing about what you do is they don't have your the parents or whomever your loved one does not have to live here in conroe montgomery county or texas for that matter correct that's correct right. so you help out wherever they want to be or where is the best suited place for them correct absolutely so what we do is whenever someone reaches out to us and says i'm really mom needs some help like we don't know exactly what she needs, but it's not working. Um, so we have an in-depth conversation and, you know, what do you need? What are you looking for? What are you seeing? Um, mom's in, you know, Kentucky, and I really need her to be closer to my sister in Florida. We can help with that. Um, we do specialize locally because we have a great network of people we work with um, through the chamber and through different organizations where we work locally with people. But we can help you no matter where you live in the United States. It's pretty amazing. It is, you know, and the local area, if, you know, we it's a marketing area. So our marketing area is really from the second ward in northeast downtown Houston all the way up Interstate 69 to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And then you go east from Cleveland down into Liberty County to Dayton and then further southeast to Mont Bellevue and then basically Anahuac. So basically I-10 east and I-69 north that's our marketing area, but we do work. I mean, we're helping people here in this area right so now. So when you say marketing, does that mean like the first touch, you know, of getting involved with somebody? So not to say that you couldn't, I couldn't refer you to somebody in Oklahoma, let's say. Oh, absolutely. Through, but but it, I am, that's a warm welcome. It's not you cold touching them for the first time. Correct. I mean, if you're looking for us on the on our website, you put in a zip code that's in those areas right. that we discussed, they will find us. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. So otherwise, 
you know, we're there it's to help. Relationship it's relationship growing. like mm-hmm. yours. You right. reached, you reached out to us. Some other friends of Pauline's have reached out to us, and we help them, regardless of wherever they are. No, and you right. do it really well. So if you want to help, um, like my mother who lives in Oregon, find a place for her to live in Arizona or California or wherever, you would sit down and that individual would give you all the specifics of how much they can spend a month, what their needs are, and there's different levels of care, right? Absolutely. So some people don't need a whole lot of care. They just need somebody to make sure that they're eating every day or make sure that their laundry gets done because it's a little bit more difficult. Some people need need reminders that they have medication they need to take, and some people need someone to give them medication. So it's there are different levels of care, and we work with all levels, all the way from independent living, which means you just need somebody to make sure mom's there and check on her every once in a while to you know we need full-time 24 7 care so we help all the way through memory care and we help not only with people staying in their own homes because 90 percent right. of people want to stay where they're at that's so their you preference can bring in care absolutely to them. we bring care into the home to help them be able to live their best lives in their homes we have people that can come in and evaluate their home from a safety perspective and say, okay, how, what do we need to do to make this a more safe environment for them to try to eliminate, lessen the risk of falls? You can't eliminate falls, but you can lessen the risk of falls by putting in rails, ramps, other things to help people get around and be more mobile within their own homes. Rearranging the furniture. Rearranging so the furniture, the making sure you don't have rugs on the floor, sure. those types of things. So we have resources that can be brought in to do those things. We have resources that can come in and help people get dressed, right. eat, help them go and take a bath if that's what they need. Anything and everything is on the table that we can do within their homes for sure. So it's an exciting opportunity because the population, first of all, is getting older. (laughs) Absolutely. Like myself. I mean, they call it baby booners because that's when most babies were born. And now, you know, everybody gets older and may need more additional care. What is the average age of the person, the individual that you're um, helping at the end game? Well, currently... Probably in their 70s is what, but we've helped people as young as uh, in their 40s just because they had a disability. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we were able to, to work with them a little bit. We've worked with people in, that are, you know, centurions, so they're over 100. Yep. Um, so, so, yeah, we help a little bit of everybody. And just to go back to what you were saying, did you know that every eight seconds someone is turning 65 now in the United States? Yeah. Every day, 10,000 yeah. people a day turn 65 and by 2050 20 percent of the u.s population will be over 65 i will be over 65 well well (laughs) so i will as well we will too by (laughs) 2050 my and it's at no cost to you that's what people need to really understand that you know you're helping them and wherever the situation is wherever they end up uh, they would pay so if they're staying in their own home who pays for that person to come in and assess the home so for the assessment the majority of the partners we work with in the houston area they do an assessment of your home and uh at no cost um it's what you do after that so you find that you have uh you need rails you need shower you gotta pay for that yeah you you would pay for that service service. right but for the assessment no yeah but that's a good question margie because it talks about a bigger issue because a lot of people think that there's like an insurance out there especially medicare Mm -hmm. will cover the cost of these types of things and medicare will cover home health okay so if someone needs something to be put into their veins Medicare will actually cover for that to happen. But if someone needs to go into the house and make these changes or to help them get non-medical stuff, for the most part, Medicare is not going to pay for that. Okay, so there's only two types of insurances that will cover the cost of what we call long term care moving forward. The first is Medicaid. Okay, Medicaid is an income based. It's designed for people with a lower socioeconomic standard. And it will cover for people to come into their home to take care of them or to move them into a, a long-term care, assisted living, or whatever facility they would need. Okay, But not all places take the Medicaid. No, not all places. In, in fact, in Texas, very few pe- places take Medicaid. Okay, 
So the second option that's out there is something called long-term care insurance. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a special insurance program that is designed for people that will pay for long-term care in the home environment or in another mm -hmm. facility environment. Place. But you got to pay for that up. That is previous to when you need it. True. Right? Absolutely. Yes. And the younger you are, the cheaper it is for you to buy into it. Okay. So if you're in your 50s right now, this is something that you should probably be looking at because it takes a few years to build equity into the plan. And there's different types of plans as well. They have fixed benefit costs versus pay as you go options that are shorter term as well. But long-term care insurance is basically a, the only other way to pay for it other than out of pocket or if you have veterans uh, uh, VA, benefit. VA benefit. And you help them with VA benefits to we, figure we can, out yes. what can be used. Yes. Absolutely. All of that in places that would take that. Are, yes. Do some places not take that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's like it, but else. it's not as broad as Medicaid. Most of them will because what the VA does is actually reimburse people for, for the their cost. expenses. So my grandfather was in the VA program and we should have investigated that further because he probably would have qualified for long-term care under the VA program and we just didn't know about it at the time. Right. But so, typically people that have been in wars, right? Right, so there are, there are um, requirements for days of service within wartime and you know, so there are some requirements for it and there are income-based requirements for that benefit as well. Um, but I think a large part of what we do is we educate people um, because a lot of people, like he said, don't know about the VA benefit or they don't know that their family member might qualify for Medicaid um, because it's just something that you don't think about and you don't talk about a lot. Well, and that's very true. They don't want to talk about right. it. Right. Or in some cases, they may think that their medical will pay for it. Right. Absolutely. And it doesn't. Absolutely not. Medical pays for medical. It doesn't pay right. for anything like your housing. Right. Nope. And it's these are... You know, it's difficult conversations for people because we're talking about things that people don't want to talk about. You don't want to talk about your finances with other people. And you don't really want to talk about the emotions that are involved with, you know, mom's getting older or I'm getting older. And so those are difficult things to think about. But we need to think about them so that, because the more time we have, the better we can plan and ensure that you're getting what you want out of the last years of your life that you're determining what that looks like. That's a good point. So how does someone get in touch with you? So there are quite a few ways. Uh, we're on Facebook. Um, you can like us at A-L-L-N-E, so that's Northeast Houston. We're on Instagram at Senior Choices. Um, we have a phone number, which is 281-691-6450. And of course, on, the, uh, on our website at assistedlivinglocators.com. And the phone number, you can not only call, but you can text as well. Absolutely. So the texts come directly to both of our phones, yep. and the phone rings to both of our phones, and they're on all the time. Absolutely. We answer those phones pretty much 24-7. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is quite different than the YMCA. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a lot different and a lot the same. Um, I mean, we were both very intentional that whatever we did for the next steps in our professional life, we had to be taking care of people. And so this was the perfect choice for us. It's, it's very different than the corporate world for sure for that sure. I was in. And there's a lot of things. I mean, we were involved with my grandparents because we were in the Medicare sector. Right. Okay. But just being in the sector doesn't get you into the nitty gritty, the nuts and bolts of what the day to day is out there. And there are so many different things that are available, so many different things aspects you have to consider it's very complicated it and is. it can be very overwhelming and a lot of people have experienced that and come to us and it, they it's rely on you to know the answers because correct. it is complicated it is so complicated right. and you don't want people to scam you because people are going to sell you something mm -hmm. Absolutely. you know if you call a number on your own forever they will have your number <laughs> and they will be calling you so right. if you go through someone like yourselves then that is not going to happen. We are the buffer, so we make sure that people don't have your contact information so that they can constantly harass um, you. I was not going to say that. Well, I am. But <laughs> I can. Yeah. So, well, and it's it's easy for people like in our generation 
um, yourself included, where we will Google stuff, right? So I need to Google the best care for mom, or I need to find mom a place, and that's fine. But once you fill that form out on that on that You're website. Done. 20 people they have you. your information and they will call you until you, I mean, Incessantly. yes. And they'll call, they'll text, they'll keep send calling. an email. They'll, yes, they'll keep calling even when you tell them not to call. So, uh, word to the wise, they should connect with y'all, uh, especially if they're semi locally in the area or, uh, through a friend that you know somebody that may need this to reach out to either one of you both of you or whatever go on your facebook page go on your website and of course we'll have all this on conroe culture news but uh, it it's going to happen and you will need assistance at some point so this is good information so i know brent you wanted to also tell me um we don't have too long here but tell me about the alzheimer's walk yes we uh, assisted living locators is partnering nationwide with the alzheimer's Alzheimer's Association. Alzheimer's is the leading dementia in the United States. Almost six million people currently have it, and by the year 2050, that will be 14 million. So you're talking about 2050. Yes, that's kind of <laughs> that's like, like 30 years from now. <laughs> yes, 30 years from now, but it's the it's the sixth leading cause of death for people over 65 mm. right now. And it's going to be uh, by 2030 the third leading cause of death, only behind heart disease and cancer. Wow. Yeah. And having experienced it personally, it's a very horrible disease, and there's no cure for it, yeah. none. So it's something that we as an organization believe strongly. We want to support it. And we've already had the longest day happen. Okay. And Pauline is actively involved with the organization and coordinating a lot of things. And one of the things we have coming up is the walk. So, Pauline, can you talk a little bit more about so, that? Uh, in October, we are doing a walk to end Alzheimer's. Um, so we're going to be actually at the walk in the woodlands. Uh, so we're working with that organization in October. And then there is a second one in October that's also in uh, Baytown. So we do have teams at both of those events. So if you would like more information, obviously, just uh, send us a message and we'll be happy to put you in touch with our walk team and we'll be able to do get you coordinated and hooked up. Currently, we spend $353 billion every year to treat Alzheimer's and the other dementias. By 2050, that will be $1.1 trillion. Yeah. So that's what's, I mean, it's not only about the lives that are going to be directly impacted, because there's 11 million people every year that care for Alzheimer's patients as part of their families. They're not getting paid. Yeah. So that's 11 million people that are no longer in the workforce that are trying to take care of their loved ones as well. So it's an imp it's a disease that has not only a very horrible physical impact, it has a very horrible social and financial impact on all of us. And it's something that we need to try to do to take care of it. Yeah. That's good information. You guys have just had a, a lot of great information. So I want to recap on this. You guys are with Assisted uh, living locators of Greater Northeast Houston, Brent and Pauline VZ. You have a Facebook page, ALL Northeast Houston. You're also um, on Instagram as Senior Choices. Senior Choices, I thought so. And you can your website is assistedlivinglocators.com. And then just go Northeast Houston. Right. You, you'll find your way there. Or just Absolutely. look up Pauline VZ, Brent VZ. Find them. Find them <laughs> and, and talk to them. She's also at the Conroe Chamber. And uh, anyway, I want to thank you both for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it on Conroe Culture News. And I am Margie Taylor, your host for the show. Uh, we'll be right back in just a moment for the bottom half of the show. Thank you for listening to Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio in downtown Conroe. It is sponsored by Team Sinisi and Roger Stein Chiropractic. 
I hope you've enjoyed the show. A couple things I wanted to recap. You can go see Patsy Klein, and this is a fundraiser for the Owen Theater on July 23rd, 24th, and 25th, three days. And uh, Tarzan will be swinging through the Crichton through uh, Sunday, July 25th. The third Wednesday of each month, the Conroe Senior Center hosts a lunch, and the one coming up will be on July 21st. Pauline and Brent Veazey will be the sponsors of the lunch, and you will hear from uh, Curves in Conroe how to keep your strength going for seniors. This is a free lunch for anybody 65 and older. You just need to contact the uh, Senior Center and make your reservation at 936-522-3950. So you need to get on that right away to do that. Uh, strength training and balance for the senior luncheon and uh shop downtown conroe shop local you know our businesses have been hurt a lot from last year and it all makes a difference so i appreciate you listening again i am margie taylor your host for conroe culture news fm 104.1 106.1 104.5 106.1 and facebook live at conroe culture news